In southern France, we look for sustainable wine. We start at a monastery, where nuns grow grapes organically, with respect for God's creation. We are cordially invited, and the nuns explain that they don't want to poison plants and soil with chemicals. Instead, they use insects, birds and plants to fight pests. To find out if organic wine can also be produced commercially, we visit Jean Ferreau, who keeps the family tradition alive close to Avignon. He and the generations before him never used chemicals. I have vines that are very old. I have vines of all ages, but I have some that are very old that were planted by my grandfather. In the vines, we leave... On ne met pas de désherbant, puisqu'on est en bio, oui. donc on ne met pas d'insecticides, on ne met pas de désherbant, on ne met pas de, pas de produits chimiques. Pourquoi vous avez continué cette tradition ben, D'abord parce que pour, pour notre propre santé déjà, oui. <rire> oui. et puis oui parce que on est, les produits chimiques, ben, on n'aime pas ça. The Agriculture Biologique Label differentiates Jean's wine and helps his business. Chateau Margui proves that organic wines also win awards. Our host Elodie gives us a tour. A model bio, but par rapport à ce qui est autorisé en agriculture biologique, nous on travaille uniquement en quart de dose. C'est-à-dire qu'on aura le droit à mettre quatre fois plus de fibres et de soufre, mais on choisit de diviser par quatre parce qu'on considère qu'en Provence, on a la chance d'avoir lancé des conditions climatiques qui permettent de diminuer encore les, de ce qui est autorisé en agriculture bio. Ça nous permet de passer dans une des deux rangs de avec le tracteur. Oui. Et puis de l'autre, de laisser de la vie, de, 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 de ce qui va être les petits insectes. Oui. Et puis, Et euh, donc, et pas de fertilisation non plus, comment dire euh... euh, Si, on a les moutons qui viennent. Ah, les moutons Voilà, aussi, on a aussi deux vachettes. Oui Qui baladent euh, selon les saisons un petit peu dans les vignes. Here too, the wine tastes delicious. We now understand the benefits of organic winemaking. Yet it is still often based on monoculture, which makes the vines vulnerable to fungi, insects and diseases. Is there an alternative? Across the border in Italy, Pietro Zughetti runs the Italian Permaculture Institute. His growing methods are based on ecological design principles. This means that optimal use is made of the natural circumstances. And that we are on the slope. So all the uh, hot air, yeah. what does, come it up. Yeah. And stop over there, yeah. because there is the forest. Yeah. Contrary to monoculture, Pietro's permaculture grapes grow amid different plants. They help each other and enrich the soil. This is sage, this is dried, <laughs> now we should go again. Then you go lavender, then you go rosemary here. What's the, and what's, what's the use? What's the behind these plants? Yeah, when, when, when water is coming down, ah, yeah. it will be intercepted by the plants. Yes. Because look underneath yeah. those yeah. plants. Yeah. Huge roots. And, yeah. Yeah. yeah, they build the soil. It's, it's, it's like a sponge. Yeah. So it's absorbing water. So the main reason for having these plants yes. is to absorb the water that flows down. Not only. Yeah. The main uh, reason, yes. But uh, this is also integra integrated pest management. Okay. Yep. So it's repellent uh, mm -hmm. to uh, different kind of pest uh, or uh, uh, wasps, uh, etc. Because there is a strong uh, smell. Uh, they don't like uh, a lot. Pietro also uses an ingenious and natural early warning system. Gross is detecting uh, a couple of uh, illnesses. Uh, the mushrooms that will attack uh, the the rose instead of the yeah the the grapes yeah. so it will take the rose first yes and then if you take the rose first okay it intervene with uh, algae or uh, compost tea Pietro's example shows that vineyards using permaculture methods can truly grow grapes sustainably 
Still, organic wine is a step in the right direction. By buying it, you invest in nature and people, and incentivize sustainable production methods. Cheers! <laughs>